This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Chromebook 14 G5, and I'm going to show you how to replace the keyboard and the battery on the HP Chromebook 14 G5. A couple of things uh, before we get started. Uh, this guy tends to turn off a lot, so when it does turn on, what you can do is long press the power button or there's a power off uh, icon on the lower left hand side of the screen. You can either use a touch or just use the mouse pointer to turn it off. Uh, I haven't found any better way. So the other thing is to identify the laptop model. So it's going to have HP Chromebook 14. This is G5 so that there's four previous versions. We want to make sure we are working on the last one. This is the consumer version. So this says 14 CA. Uh, on the school, on the, on the version that's sold to schools, it's going to say model 14 G5. So if it either says CA or G5, you're working on the right one. Also, there's two versions of this touch and non touch. The procedure for battery and keyboard is replacement is the same, and they both have the same batteries and keyboards. All right, next we're going to show you the tools that we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronic screwdriver, PH stands for Phillips, and one is the size. A smaller PH0 electronic screwdriver, a metal spudger, and that's to pry open the keyboard a pair of tweezers to manipulate any cables, and a hobby knife or exacto knife, and that's mainly used to lift off screw covers. So first we're going to start working on the bottom. On the bottom there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws that has to be have to be removed. The screws on, on the front of the laptop, they're hiding behind some screw covers. And what we're going to do is use the hobby knife or exacto knife to remove the screw covers and we're going to put them to the side in a pile. And then we're going to go one by one and remove these four. Like that. Okay, as you can see, I've already removed the screws, and in the front there are the smaller silver screws. And then there's two screw covers in the middle of the laptop. We're going to remove those, and the shape of those is a little bit different, so let's keep them in a separate place because they won't fit in the front. And in the middle, there are also silver screws, and I left one of the silver screws to remove to show you. So, and we're going to put them in the pile with the silver screws. Now, in the back, there's the rubber feet in the back, and there, the laptop is hiding the screws under the rubber feet in the back, but not in the front. You don't have to remove the rubber feet in the front, but you do need to use the metal spudger tool to remove the rubber feet in the back and then there will be two screws there. In the back there's going to be the longer black screws. So there's two sets of screws. One is the longer black screw and the other one is the shorter silver screw. Okay, once we do that there's one more screw in the middle and that uses again a different screw cover again so we remove that screw and there's going to be a silver screw hiding behind there. So when you do this, make sure that you get all the screws, otherwise you might damage the laptop when removing the keyboard assembly. So there's four, six, seven, nine screws total. Two long black ones and seven shorter silver ones. Once we do that, we open up the laptop again and most likely it will turn on. And there it goes. And so what we're going to do is we're going to turn it off as soon as we can. 
Okay, there's a shutdown button here, so you either use your mouse pointer or just touch to turn it off. And then we're going to start prying open the keyboard assembly. This is the most difficult part of the job, and this is what's going to take the longest, but uh, with patience it can be done. It takes about 5 to 10 minutes. I'll see if I can do it faster. So what we're going to do is use the metal spudger tool and try to pry in between the case assembly and the keyboard assembly and just dig in and lift up like so. I've removed the keyboard once before so it's going to be a little bit easier for me to do it. The first time it's a little bit more difficult. I found this part was the most difficult. So in this way we go all the way around and pry open in this part and pry open in this part. Once you do that, the best thing to do is gently lift up the keyboard assembly and the back will pry open also. Or in theory it will. If it doesn't, what we want to do is go in the back and then we can barely see a seam in the back and we work the seam loose. We work the seam loose with the spudger in the back. There. Okay, just a note, there will be some uh, cosmetic scratches around the side of the keyboard assembly, but um, that's just what it takes to pry it off. So once you do that, we can lift up the keyboard a little bit, and then on the bottom you see two connections. Next thing we want to do is remove those two connections. There's some adhesive on the, on the ribbon cable here and here. So we lift up the adhesive. And then let's get a close up. We want to lift up, let's see, the, maybe a better way is to use the spudger to demonstrate it. Okay, so we want to lift up the plastic bar and take the connector out. Now I find that this connector is a little bit harder to put in because you have to force it in there a little bit so that the there's two plastic tabs on the side. Okay so once I force it in there, okay so this Okay, so this is, this was properly, okay. Let's disconnect this one and I'll show you how to put This one's not that hard, so you just pull it out and that's it. This one, to put it back in, I found it a little bit tr tricky, so I have to play with it. Okay, so I, f I was able to lift it, put it in at an angle and put it down. What you want to have is this light blue line along the edge of the black plastic bar. So let's disconnect it again and take it out. Okay, this is the keyboard assembly. This, this is the, as far as it gets taken apart. This is for the HP Chromebook 14 G5 and it looks like it's a dark gray assembly. There may be other colors for school versions, so make sure that we, you get the right color. All right, and there's two connectors on the back, and this is the part that is sold. Uh, we will have this assembly in the summer of 2018, and it will be available in volume purchases for school districts. And next is we have the battery. So let's look at the battery part number. The battery part number is GM02XL. And here's how to remove it. There's some adhesive tape on top of the connector. So we lift up the adhesive tape, pull it back until the connector is exposed, 
and then using your fingernails grab the two plastic tabs on the sides and pull out the connector and then there's four screws that are securing the battery so we remove those screws one by one one two three and four then the battery can be lifted up and hopefully removed yeah the battery can be lifted up and removed okay so the, these are the two parts that go that would need to be replaced most frequently the keyboard and the battery and the keyboard is different than the previous versions of the HP Chromebook 14. Okay, uh, we as screen surgeons work with school districts often and to work with us if you're working for a school is go to www.screensurgeons.com there'll be a tab on the top that says schools and then once you get there there'll be a form for you to fill out and then specify the part you need and then we can communicate with you. We can you can either urge order online or with purchase order. If you're an individual customer and want to order these online, just go to the front page screensurgeons.com. There'll be a search form for you to fill out. Just type in the product name HP Chromebook 14 G5 keyboard or HP Chromebook 14 G5 battery and the search results will show it. Okay, once you do get these parts in uh, make sure it's the right ones and just reverse the procedure and put them back in and once again for schools we have volume discounts and additional technical support okay uh, that's it once again my name is Eugene Panrutkovich I'm the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com thank you very much and good luck